Good morning, everyone. Blessings from the Lord. And I want to present my report, which is not just my report, but the report of the work of every one of our Hispanic pastors and leaders that uh, we have here and others that were not able to attend, but they are working really hard for the kingdom of God. Then I will read my report, Dr. Eugenio Duarte, uh, uh, Reverendo Steve Hoffman, District Superintendent, fellow pastors, and our, all of our Prairie Lakes family. Thank you. I praise God for each and every one of you, your ministry, and your love for God's work. This report reflects the accomplishment and challenge of the district's Hispanic ministry in the year that ended and the faith and hope for a blessed new year. I am grateful to, grateful to God for allowing me to serve him in this district with this wonderful group of fellow pastors. Uh, and this year we are working with 19 Hispanic ministries in the three, st three states. We have 13 in Minnesota, three in North Dakota, and three in, with four, I'm sorry, in South Dakota. Also, we are starting a compassion ministry for the district, and please pray for this. As you know, we are serving a lot of refugees, people coming to the U.S. looking for a better opportunity, better life, looking for a future for them and their family, and this is our goal, to serve them. The face of our district is changing. There is more Hispanics living in the U.S., but you know, the 90% of the children, Hispanics, attending, attending to the schools in our district, they are born in the U.S. They are part of the family, but they born here. Then, what uh, um, my friend before me. No, Dan, Dan, I'm sorry, Dan Rotten. It's because I, I can't pronounce his last name. <laughs> and he cannot pronounce my first name also, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Sorry, but sorry, Dan. <laughs> okay. He said, we need to have more multicultural, and we understand that. Right now, our Hispanic churches, we are using the translation equipment to translate our services to English, into English, because it is necessary. Our kids, they speak better English than, than Spanish. Then we are trying to work with them and we need to work with you too. Well, as you know, 2020 was an, an exceptional, different year due to the pandemic. In the midst of this situation, the Lord has blessed, strengthened, and leadership of the church and has taught us that the church is much more than Sunday services. Since the beginning of 2020, ecclesiastic year, at the height of the closure due to the pandemic. With the approval of, the, of our district superintendent, we established as a pri priority of the ministry the following. To develop and implement an action plan that allows the local church in a healthy and safe way to remain effectively and efficiently active during the pandemic and post-pandemic not only to survive, but to overcome this test by being estranged and developing creative local strategies to continue with its mission, whatever the new reality looks like. For this, it was necessary to support the efforts of each local pastor and local leadership to be informed, support, and equipped in a way that allowed them to continue being agents of transformation and hope for their communities and that the local church transcends 
the historical moment in which they live. For this project, we use one-to-one-on-one -on -one support to the pastors, a support strategy developed in a specific way for if each of the churches, an orientation guide about general responses that each pastor and church can use in the different states and manifestations on the pandemic, support with supplies, information, and useful materials for the churches, strategies to initiate community development projects that can help the management of the church and build compassionate projects, an interactive web page and application that facilitates communication and participation in district programs, and also offerings to pastors and their families economically affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our plan for pastor was, let's reinvent, reinvent what we have. Take care of ourselves as pastors. Take care of your family. Take care of your leaders. Make sure all church members are taken care of. Develop online activities that can exalt Christ in the church and the community. Make the most of your facilities in a coherent way and restructure your finances. Focus on outsiders. Use technology as much as you can. Develop small groups. Make leadership development your priority and serve your community. We work to encourage churches that were weakened by the pandemic. We are now looking to the new year Continue, it, continue to the individual strategy for each group and support in a special way that, that churches that also are growing at this time. And our plan is to develop compassion ministries with each of our churches. We are watching the future with great hope. Even when we came out of this time of pandemic, losing a lot of people in our churches. But we are working to recover them and recover the, the church too. As pastors, we have a compromise to serve our communities, to protect the vulnerable pe people in our churches. Also, we as pastors, we decide to take the vaccine, everyone, because we want to protect the vulnerables in our churches. Then we did, we did it by love for our people. We got blessings and the support of our leaders. And thank you, Brother Steve, for all the support you give to the Hispanic work. We hope to be able to replant five churches and plant at least two new churches in this coming year. To, the, to God be the glory. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you very much.